We're going to learn in this video how to test the AC system. In order to get started, you're going to need a temperature uh, testing gun. It's got an infrared light on it, and it reads the uh, temperature of the vents, uh, the supply and the return vent here on the back. The first test, you're going to take the temperature gun and measure the return air. This is where the filter is typically in a house. It can be on the floor near the ground, or it can be up in the ceiling. I'm just going to test, take the temperature reading here, and then head on over to a supply vent and take a temperature reading there. Taking the temperature readings from the supply and the return in Fahrenheit, let me explain to you what we're doing with those readings. The return air vent is pulling the air from the house into the air handler and across the coil, and it's cooling the air and depositing it out supply vent. Uh, the difference between those two should be between 18 and 22 degrees. So when you take those readings, just uh, Take the supply and subtract the return, and you will get the difference between the two readings. Uh, if it's less than 18 degrees, that means that it's probably low on Freon, or there could be another condition, but that's typically what it is. There's been a leak somewhere in the system, and it needs to be recharged. If it's cooling too much, over 22 degrees, it could mean that there's a blockage in the system, and it could be dirty, and it's causing the, the coil to freeze up. They're both issues that can cause major problems, um, and this temperature reading, as simple as it sounds, just taking a quick uh, reading of the supply and a quick reading of the return, uh, will really give us a good indication as to how the system is performing and whether or not um, it needs to be replaced or repaired. Now that you have taken your temperature tests and you have a reading of the return air and a couple of the supply air registers around the home, you can just jot those down on your quick uh, inspection report checklist and I'll be happy to look at uh, the differences and the temperature and help you uncover what's wrong with that system. 